Hello Triggers and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at something that looks a little bit like this, where I you walk over point A and it teleports you to point B. So without further ado, let's get to it. So what we are going to do first is to create the actual blueprint, whereas we can put in these two, well, one or two meshes. And to do that, you're just gonna right click in the content browser, you're gonna go to blueprint class, and then you're going to select actor. Now I'm gonna name this tutorial teleport, just like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and open it up. I'm gonna drag it into screen so we can see what we're doing. I'm gonna drag the content browser out of the way because we don't need you right now. And then within the actual blueprint, we are going to create the, the two cubes uh, that we're gonna use as reference points as to overlap one teleport to the other, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and create two cubes. I'm gonna make them a little bit more like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and name this one. I'm gonna duplicate that one. And now we have two different uh, meshes within this. And within that as well, we need something to actually, uh, we need the overlap because right now it's just a mesh, but it doesn't actually say where the overlap is. So I'm gonna select this one first. I'm gonna go ahead and write um, collision box collision. There we go. One call, and then I'm gonna duplicate that on top of this one. And I'm gonna go two call. And as you see right now, this one is connected to number one. This one is connected to number two. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it on top of it. And there you go. Now, of course, you can go ahead and you can just scale these boxes, this co these collision boxes to your liking. Of course, I'm not going to be too bothered by that right now because it's a tutorial. But just for clarity's sake, I'm going to make this like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and there you go. So they're both looking pretty solid right now. Amazing. So I'm not going to berate you with the... Uh, a lot of information right here. I'm gonna explain it pretty simple. We're gonna go from other actor. We're gonna go to cast to player. You're gonna choose the blueprint that is your player. This pretty much ensures that whatever it is that you're using as a pawn or whatever, that it will only cast to that and not any other types of enemies and whatnot. And then we are going to get a simple teleport. Now make sure that you don't get the function you actually made and get the transformation teleport right here. And this will ensure that it teleports on overlap. It will teleport the player from tie one or well, mesh one to mesh uh, two. The problem though, is that it will teleport the player from wherever is overlapped into inside of the <laughs> collision box. And that will pretty much put you inside of the mesh. And with collision and everything ongoing, it, it is going to uh, bug the shit out your game. So what we can do about that is a very simple fix. As you see right now, you have the teleport node right here and it does have a destination location and a destination rotation, whereas it, it allows you to put in manual coordinates. The good thing about this is that you're already saying, okay, well, you're gonna teleport it from one to two. So the only thing we wanna do is to plus, uh, we wanted to teleport to this and then plus a little bit on the Z axis. Z axis is the one that allows you to go up and down. So what we are going to do right here is that we are going to get world location, world location right here. And then this is going to get the world location of the second uh, collision box right here, of course. And then what we're going to do with that is that we're actually going to add to this because right now we just got the world location so we know where it is, but we want to add to it as well. So how do we add to it? Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, you might not know this, but if it's a yellow line, then it means that it, it's a vector. So I'm gonna, just gonna drag this one out here, put in a plus sign, and I'm gonna go vector plus vector. I'm gonna drag that in and connect it, tighten it up a little bit. And then this is something you need to experiment by yourself. Uh, as I said, the Z axis allows you to go up and down. So I'm just gonna add a little bit uh, positive in the Z axis. In other words, it's gonna teleport to wherever it is teleporting and then 40 units upwards as well. 
Now the problem is that I forgot to mention this is uh, you're, prob you're probably looking at something that looks like this and this is not going to work because I failed to mention that uh, as BP player, the cast you're doing right here, you need to also connect that to the teleport. Otherwise it's not, <laughs> it's not gonna function at all. So to summarize what we've done here, you're overlapping the collision box one it's telling it that, okay, it's the player that is going to get teleported. And that in itself teleports it to a new location. And then within that new, new location, which we're getting here, which is the number two, we're, at, we're teleporting it to that location and then adding 40 units positive. So it goes upwards. If perchance uh, you get a problem like I did, whereas the player teleports but the controls are fucked because of the rotation and whatnot that is easily fixable as well do not fret what you do is you pretty much just drag it out here from the player right here and you get say get control rotation right here and then you just add that to the des uh, destiny rotation that will make sure that whenever it gets teleported it knows in what axis the control is rotated. So it won't, because sometimes it might teleport you and then your controls might be uh, pretty skewed because it doesn't really recognize that you have a set uh, rotation to your controller. So this node right here would just uh, solve that issue. Now the last step of course is to set it up within the scene and that is easily done by just going back to the scene. You drag in your teleportation tutorial blueprint right here and then intuitively you might think that okay well i need two tiles because it's going to teleport from that tile to that tile so you might duplicate it like this that is actually incorrect because what happens then is that you have created two different blueprints and they're not connected in any way so do not do that what you need to do is if you press it and then you have the little detail tab right here it might be on your right screen uh, right side of your screen right here you go down and you can see that you have one and two so what you're going to do is you're going to select number two and then you are going to drag number two out here like this. So what this does is that as soon as you overlap this one right here, it's going to teleport you to that one, which is the exact same script I have within my own game right here. Mine looks a little bit different, the collision box right here. That is because I did not, I have a function within my game, whereas if you collide with something twice, it kills the player. So I had to switch off the collision, but that is literally the only difference between my blueprint and your blueprint. So what, what type of results that would give you is, of course, uh, you kind of want to see the game and not a lot of uh, boxes within in the middle of the screen. So I'm just gonna clear it around. I've given box number one, the purple color and I've given box number two the yellow color so as soon as I overlap it it's gonna teleport it and plus it a little bit on the z-axis. Now just to visually uh, present to you the uh, problem you probably get if you do not plus it on the z-axis we're actually gonna stop the game I'm gonna go into my blueprint right here and I'm just gonna go get the destination uh, I'm just gonna disconnect this one just like that. Or you know what, I'm just, I actually need the world location. So I'm gonna connect the world location to it and I'm not gonna add anything in the Z axis. And let's try to play the game. So as soon as I overlap, you can see that my player dies. And that is because it overlaps with the collision, but it spawns underneath the box and I have a Z volume that kills it if you're outside of the, the actual level. So it tries to teleport the player inside of the box and that just means instant death. Now sometimes, it might actually teleport your player on top of the box and then you're kind of Gucci, but that is dicey because it's it's better to control your player teleporting on top of the box every single time than relying on the game, trying to randomize and fix uh, your issue that you have at hand. So with that said, this tutorial is done. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And if you're wondering if this works on every version of Unreal, then yes, indeed it does. If you want me to do any other type of small tutorials, then please leave it down in the section and I will get to it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.